Hey everybody, welcome back to One Minute Walking Tours. I am Jonathan, thank you for joining me one more time. We are here in Madison Square Park. Uh, Madison Square Garden used to be right here. Uh, it is no longer, as we all know. But this little section I am on now is actually called Worth Square, which is right across from uh, the Flatiron Building, which is getting a little work done on it. And Worth Square separates, I don't know how well you can see this. Uh, this is Broadway over here by this building. And this is Fifth Avenue over here by this building. And we're in between 24th and 25th Streets. I'm just pointing out we're actually really right in the heart of Manhattan here, sort of the lower piece of, of the Midtown Manhattan. And there's this gigantic obelisk. And one would think, well, that's just a marker of a bygone past. Well, the darndest thing is uh, Major General <laughs> Worth uh, is actually interred there. This is his mausoleum. Born in Hudson, New York in 1794, he's the only veteran of the War of 1812 to still be interred in his mausoleum in New York City. Now, he's not particularly famous or a popular general by any stretch of the imagination. He does fight, uh, obviously I said, in the War of 1812. He goes on to fight in the war with Mexico. He fights in Monterey, he fights in the Seminole War, and if anyone... Better wrap this up. <laughs> have to answer to a higher authority here at One Minute Walking Tour. Um, it goes on to fight the Battle of Monterey in the, the war with Mexico, where he will die in 1857, uh, 58, in there, 56. I could have done research, but... <laughs> um, and uh, he will die of cholera, and he will be interred there, and he will be returned to New York where this mausoleum will be built for him. Uh, and the city actually turns out uh, in quite a, a quite a celebration. 6,500 uh, soldiers will show up from West Point, where he had been commander prior to the war with Mexico, or commandant, or superintendent, whatever they call it. All, if not all of those things, uh, his body is obviously not in the best shape. So they bring the bones. They're put into a, a miniature keepsake coffin reliquary, I think is the word, and that's interred right at the base here. Uh, and the city in 1856-58 is really not too much farther north of here uh, and would have been right next to the great, um, you know, fun, exciting parts of the city. Uh, and his body's never been moved. I guess you don't need to, but it is actually one of two places in the entirety of New York City where the body is, the, is still in the mausoleum. The other one, I believe, is actually Grant's tomb. So in order to stay buried in New York City, I think you need to be a military man and have fought in, well, I guess they were rather unpopular wars. <laughs> Although, uh, as I said, Seminole Wars actually would have been down with, uh, in Florida with the Seminole Indians. So one of the few places you can still visit Major General Worth is here uh, right by the Flatiron Building in New York City. So I hope you enjoy the video and we'll see you here soon on One Minute Walking Tours.